Hey, yammers! Hey, hey, I'm making potions over here. I'm mixing unguents. I'm adding in all sorts of combinations of herbs and spices and in pieces of animals and dried shit and wet shit to make the most incredible poultices you've ever seen. Is an unguent like a specific type of potion or does it just mean like a concoction? I'm making concoctions. An unguent, I yeah. think specifically, is like a like a thing you spread on something. Like, like a, a butter. Like a wound. Oh. I think an unguent is like a like a gel, like an ointment. People used to put butter on on uh wounds. People used to put butter on wounds? Yeah. Why? To disinfect it. Why why it disinfect? Because it was mostly fat or something. That's just like that episode of Seinfeld where Kramer <laughs> keeps putting butter on himself to tan on the roof. Oh my god, I remember that. And then he over tans and he ends up smelling like a roasted turkey. That must have been what happened. Anyways, more important than that is my shirt today. Look at this good shirt. Can you guess from whence I obtained this shirt? Can you guess? Can you take a can you take a guess? You want to stand and show can it all guess? off? Can you guess? Hmm, Jacob, that's a pretty cool shirt you have. Where did you get it? Thank you for asking, Julia. This is this is one of Ansta's shirts. What? This is from Ansta's store. Ansta's got some new merch. Not just the shirt, but I also got this. I also got this. Incredible <laughs> beanie. Really good merch. Ansta had a really good drop. So I recommend if you like it, you should go pick up some for yourself. I bet the mods are grabbing the link as we speak. I'm positive that the mods are going to link to the store. Just knowing the mods. Fuck those headphones. <laughs> Jacob hit his headphones and they hit the ground. When I fight my headphones, there's only two hits. Me hitting the headphones and the headphones hitting the ground. What about that? Assholes. <laughs> I want to look up my butter, my butter fact. My shirt is just, um, the vibe, the vibe is in shambles. That's also a great shirt. It's a, it's a Kermit. I made sure to find the artist who actually made the shirt and buy it from the correct store. Cause I know it was getting stolen a lot. Butter on merch being stolen on the internet doesn't sound right to me applying butter to a burn was a thing that was done but does not show any healing properties <laughs> i am not surprised by this information mm -mm. Because they're um, saying that the heat from your burn will cook the butter and just make it worse. What is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't cook the butter with your burns. It does yeah. make you smell tasty, though. Um, I want to play Potionomics, the video game. So you had watched a video about some tips and tricks. So you are all good to go here. I did. I learned. I watched a video so that when I came back, I wouldn't be bad at the game. I need to know where, where, what I should be prioritizing. And now I feel like I got a good like starters guide. I feel like I know what I'm doing a little better. Not gonna say I'm an expert, but I at least know some strats. So I'm looking forward to employing those strats in the game. Um, should we get into it? Let's do it. Do you want to put your headphones on? No. You should uh, water Mr. Plant. Yeah. 
top them up a little bit. I yeah. mean, I guess we could do it when we get home. Never mind. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to game. Audio activated. This is an this, audio not, visual experience. There's not sensitive content in this game unless you count unless you count big old tibbies as sensitive content. <laughs> Ooh, Cathorin Oakenshield just picked up Kentucky Route Zero. Nice. I hope you're liking it. Okay. I gotta remember how you play this game. There's an increase in customers. Mushroom Meyer still sucks ass. Mm -hmm. What else is new? Start day. Okay, I remember when I ended last time, the last thing I said was, I have to remember what I'm doing. What I was doing. Do you remember what you were doing? I don't. Let's take a look at the cauldron. Okay. This is brewing for two, two squares, two segments of time. Something I learned from the video, mm -hmm. the time number counts the one you're in. Oh. So it'd be like one, two. Okay. It's not like it starts here and then goes to here. It's here and here. Got it. Isn't that amazing? Um, what I've also learned is that what we need to be focused on here is getting better cauldrons do i have any potions to arrange i got some fire tonics you need fire tonics for the big day i do but i need better ones than that you do need better those ones. are those are trash out of my butthole <laughs> someone said that after watching us play this last time they bought it and have played for 30 hours someone is saying i'm really quiet it looks to me like my volume is the exact same as julia's volume Get it together. Am I really quiet for people or is it is it okay? I'm, I'm looking at the levels. The levels are, are equivalent. Volume good, volume normal, audio good. You're fine, he's fine. Okay. Jacob is fine. Great, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here's what I've learned. It's okay to spend all our money because we don't need money for anything to live. Damn, so the opposite we, we of real can, life. We can go completely broke on buying shit and it doesn't matter because we can just sell potions to get more money and we don't have to eat and we don't have to pay rent. Um, also, I've learned that we need to be sending out... What's her face? What's her face every time she is available to be Mint. sent out. And then we need to be giving new ingredients to Quinn every time we get a new ingredient. First thing we do with it is give it to Quinn so that we can right. buy it. Got it, right. And then we also need to be getting Muktuk. better cauldrons from Muktuk. Got it. This is what I've learned. So let's go see mint, because I'm pretty sure we, we sent mint. I made some progress, but the, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a bunch of new stuff. Golem's eye, diamond, glass ore. Manworm root. Yeah, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you a manworm root if you want to see one. You know what I'm saying? Does everybody know what I'm saying? I wish I didn't. I'll show you some horned jelly if you, if you get what I'm. Do you see <laughs> no. what I'm after? Do you get what I'm hinting at? <laughs> We're starting it off like this. Thank you, Mint. It's time for you to go out again. Who that? Who sneezes? And not into the mushroom mire because it sucks. Go back to the bone wastes. Okay, something else I learned. Yeah, I'm listening. Which actually I can't really employ right now because I put my fire resistant potions on the shelf. But if I had them, they would severely lower the amount that the fire enemies do to oh. mint. I've also learned that these numbers are the amount of damage they'll do yes. to mint. Yes. And so if I give like the potions, it increases the health and then obviously she can go further. So if we do this, she's got 26, but she can only do three. This is how many she can do. 16, 23. Well, you don't even need to count because you can only do three. 28. You can stop counting. She can only do three right now. I actually don't even need to, I need to give her one potion and that'll be as far as she can go anyways. 
Because I didn't bring my fire potions. We could get them off the shelf, but it would take time. Yes, it would. Time is valuable. It would take time. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna send her like this. We'll at least get three done, which will still give us some some new loot. So we're gonna send her. All right, hammer time. Then we're gonna go back to Baptiste because I'm pretty sure we funded some expeditions. The capitalist hottie. The capitalist hottie. Look at all of this. Cubic ooze, sack of hive slime. Man, I can't wait till the day humanity gets to eat some cubic ooze. Yeah, right now. I guess it's like a cubed jello. And then we're gonna go ahead. We've not, I don't think we've ever had any of these. And we've never had any of these. So I'd like to get both of those. We ha we just got one of these. Yeah. You got the yawns already. I need you in this. I'm here. Get your Why head in the game. Quit talking to Olive. Olive's she can't out help of the us. Collar. She's out of the collar. Olive can't help us right now. She's free. Okay, now we're gonna go see Muck Tuck. Yes, please. He's a Neo. She's been going crazy today. He's a Neo. She's going crazy what right are now. What you doing? She's putting her butthole on my <laughs> on my volume sliders. It's true. He's a Neo. He's a Neo. She collapsed. Glass cauldron can hold seven ingredients. What do I have right now? What can I upgrade? Nothing. So I should make a cauldron. Well, we just got like a new good one from him. Yeah, but it's not as good as these and it can't be upgraded. I'm thinking we go glass cauldron because it can hold seven ingredients. Give me one of these, please. Thank you. We might get a random uh, people need goals song because the olive's butt is. I think it's on sound effects and the sound effects are not even set to play okay. out to people. Okay, cool. I definitely will give characters cheap ingredients to raise their level. I just got to make sure it's stuff that I have multiple of. Like a slime. sack of hive slime. Would he be into hive slime? No telling. We got to find out the hard All right. way. All right. There you go. I accept your gift. He accepts it. All right. Let's actually go back and gift everyone else too. Me when someone gives me something spicy. Let's go back and see Bappy and give Bappy something. Bappy. Bappy, would you like a bog beat? From a certain angle, I quite like it. Oh, we can rank up Bappy. I say we do it. Let's do it. I'm not especially busy. I trust you don't mind if I multitask. Your arrival coincided with a package delivery and mail from the mainland has proven so irregular. I find myself quite eager to see what's inside. I'm curious too. Baptiste rips into his package with the unrestrained joy of a little kid with a birthday present. His glee intensifies when he sees the contents. Would you look at that? My favorite brand of conditioner. You can't find this in Rafta. Ooh, and the extra silky dental floss. I do have sensitive gums. This is from my mother. She must have known I'd be missing some of the comforts of home. That's kind of her. It is, except now I feel her absence even more keenly than before. Tell me, Sylvia, what's your pedigree? My what? Your pedigree, your background. Who are your people? I'm a self-made woman. Self-made woman, let's go. I'm a self-made woman in all the ways that matter. And I'm focused on blazing a trail forward, not looking back. Pity, we all come from somewhere. I take a lot of pride in my own history. My father is the Duke of Ambervale. He owes his fortune to the shrewd investment decisions of him that he made. Of himself. 
Concerning investments made with somewhat smaller fortune he inherited from my grandfather, the previous Duke of Ambervale. My great-grandfather was a lowly baron, bit of a black sheep. But my great-great-grandfather actually established the very first Heroes Guild. So you're in the family business. That's right. Although it's been some time since any of us really got our hands dirty in the daily operations. My brothers ended up with cushy positions on the continent. They told me I was mad coming here. I say they don't know what they're missing. Lately, I've been thinking that it's necessary, even desirable, to get your hands dirty from time to time. How else can you truly get to know a place, particularly a place like Rafta? This island is untidy, but that's what makes it so fascinating. And filled to bursting with opportunity. For riches or romance? Well, I feel like we don't want a romance Baptiste. I don't want a romance Baptiste. So we'll say I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I hope you're right about that. <laughs> Sounds like we both hitched our wagons to the same horse. Of course, your wagon has comfortable seats. I do feel that our fortunes are linked. Certainly there's a symbiotic tie between the guild and potion makers like yourself. Traz said we can't fix him. <laughs> there's too much. So I very much want you to succeed, Sylvia. In fact, I sympathize with you quite a bit. If you can establish this sort of rapport with your customers, you'll be off to a fine start. Build rapport. Raise interest by eight. If opener, apply sympathy for two turns. That seems great. Sure. I'll even make puppy dog eyes if it'll open those wallets. Excellent. Now, is there anything else I can help with? If not, I should get back to the grindstones. Understand I'm being literal. We just received a large shipment of grindstones, and it falls to me to unload them all. I guess a guildmaster's work is never done. No, indeed. I wanted to get my hands dirty. Let's hope I don't come to regret that impulse. Look, he's trying his best, okay? He is. He can't help that he's rich. <laughs> And he was born rich. Born rich. He could be worse. All right, let's go see Quinn. Quinn. Um, also, I saw someone in the chat was saying to make sure to like save before the competitions and stuff. But I saw in the video I watched that the game apparently auto saves at the start of every day. So you don't actually have to, to save because it's saved for you. Wow. All right, first things first, I would love for you to have a swamp octopus. All right, well, it didn't seem like you loved it that much, but. All right, we're going to expand. No, Avatar Clippy, you don't need the manual save to keep the auto from overwriting. It saves all the autos in a list. I'll show you. All right, let's give him a golem's eye diamond. Let me do my thing. Wonderful. Can I just like keep giving you stuff? This is great. Please keep doing your thing. Oh, I can give multiple at once, so I don't have to do it one at a time. Wow, that's actually way better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you already gave him the octopus. Oh, no, no you I gave gifted it to him. him yeah, the you gifted octopus. Him. Sorry, them. I like the um, flying witches in the back. Quinn is a them. Sorry. Got to remember that. No, yes. I fucked it up first. I should have some for sale starting tomorrow. All right, this is excellent. Oh, I have like no gold, huh? No, you spent it all in the new cauldron. All right, time to go sell. Not like that. Not like this. Like this. I do love that their chest of holding is a mimic chest. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I was gonna show the the menu, the save menu here. So if you lo if you go, if you. Okay, wait, listen. There's a way to do it. Maybe when you load. I think it's in load. Yeah. 
I mean, we could test it out. We could do a save and then a uh, return to whatever. All right, we'll do a manual save. And then we will go to the title menu. I'm going to show you. You're going to be like, this is crazy. Look at this. Bam. Day one, day two, day three, day four. In a list. One, two, three, right there. Okay, we got to open the shop. I got no money. I got no money. Let's spend it up. All right, I want build rapport. I think more than I want a set em up. Someone said feist in this 2023. She lives in my brain. Let's put this in. Yeah, put it in. And then we're gonna take out a real amen. Oh, people are pointing out that you have to get your cauldron first. I'm gonna get the cauldron. I think I can't right now, though, because my cauldron is currently... Brewing? Oh, it should be done. Brewing. I guess it's probably done, huh? I see you've acquired an ingredient with a trait. Huh? I did? Sylvia, you need to pay attention to what's going on in your inventory. An ingredient with a trait is an opportunity to strategize at the cauldron and to engage your customer's senses. Oh yeah, I have some notes on this actually. I just need a quick refresher. This is you. Some special ingredients have not just magimins, but also traits. By placing these ingredients with traits into your brew, it will impact it will impart those traits to the potions. Using an ingredient with a positive trait in your brew will boost the value of the final potion. It's like putting salt in your meals in Zelda. Yeah. Be careful though, ingredients can also impart some less desirable traits that will lower what customers are willing to pay for a potion. Wall. Okay. The perfect brew. It's the perfect brew. It's a common health potion. All right, so now we'll switch the cauldron. And then you'll brew something else. And we'll brew something else. Nice. Customization. Let's see, I got glass cauldron. This is not a glass cauldron. Whoever said it was, you're welcome to get your ass beat. <laughs> Someone wrote more than just my Jimmins. <laughs> more than just my Jimmins? So we need like a real good fire potion for the combo. Yeah, let's check our let's check our bow shows here. For the competition. Cause we don't even know how to make I guess we just have to put in like the, the, we just gotta like dump ass magimins in there in order to make a bigger one. Do we think that's the well, case? Is it the imparting traits thing that they just said? It could be. Or maybe we just need a lot of magimins. Maybe. Should we make one of these we've not made before? Might okay. be worth a lot of money. All right, what's what's my my red and my yellow situation here? Yeah, you need more magimins for better potions. More magimins. That's a lot of yellow in that bad boy. <laughs> oh, and that's a lot of red in that bad boy. Ooh. So if we go horn jelly. Hive slime. I hate that combo. And then... <laughs> Someone just came in with a first time chat that just says, make a potion of dump ass. <laughs> potion of dump ass. <laughs> Maybe I will. <sighs> That's good. All right, I don't... So I think I could do... No, I can only hold seven ingredients. Six times... Three is 18. I can do it. I do this. I do this. I do this. Ooh, and see, now you have a common fi uh, fire tonic. Which is what we need. Yeah. For the thing. And my magimins are balanced. 
toss a couple woods on the fire. A well-rounded Jimin. And then we brew it. <laughs> we send it to the brew. What are you laughing at? I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. Crack me up. Um, we're about to have ads. Oh! Oh. We're about to have ads. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna we're gonna make the best fire potion the world has ever seen. Fire potion. Fire potion. Abs already. That's what I wish. I think every time ads play, we should all get better abs. Which means while the ads are running, go and do some sit-ups. Do a plank. Do a plank position, do a jackknife. Do a, a Russian twist, I believe it's called. Do a, a <laughs> hanging leg lift. That's a great one. Do a dead bug. You can do a dead bug. You can do a, um, a bicycle twist. You can do some prayer crunches. Alternating knee raise. You can do scissor kicks. Just don't hurt anyone? Any of those options. The ads are still starting, by the way. What are these exercises? Look them up! Dead bug. I love a dead bug. It just feels nice to do. Feels nice on my lower back. It does feel nice to do. Sometimes when I go to start a dead bug, I just sit there like I am a dead bug. All right, the ads are running, so I'm gonna read subs. We got subs from Granny Beatrix, Nubasaur, Ink Readable, Kit Squibbles, T West, Zippora, A Long Turtle, Adamant, Adamantarin, yes. Adamantarin, yes. Deadly Kitten 404, The Vibrarian, Mix Cosmos. Woodaker is lost. A fart you are concerned about. Stoes, Cat's Ribs, The Bottom Hat, Neil Antonin, Sarah Safi, Verdant Tiger, Slam Packer, Alvacodo, Smallish K, A Robots, Hibernation Dream, Nightcap Lobster, Minaptera gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Rin Rams, Yotol, Froyo's LT. Absolute Ditto, La Heek, ADM, Augie Froggy, Fog Irises, Juggle This, Lily Loves You, Professor Rad gave out five gifted subs. Thank you, Professor Rad. Thank you. Look an Elephant, Shadow Man 1188, Spunky Tank, Joe Crazy Face, Jar of Pickled Jellyfish Feet, Pineapple Skulls, Squeet Potatoes, Doki Da, Sucra Baroque, Clara Mount, Lavender Ghost 0410, The Mighty Pisces, Aureus 77, Henshi, Tricky Toe Beans, Oddball523, Bumblionini gave out five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Frog House, Sabia K. Osabia Sabia. Badger Jaw gave out five gifted subs. Thank you, Badger Jaw. Zombie Pirate Gaming, Viv Baffs, Zero Status, Juggle This, Egafrin, Captain Adam42, Scribble Junkie, Mellow Toaster, Maliciously Apathetic. Vincenco, Jimmy Jam, Martine Bobom, A Crystal Garden in Your Skull, Monsata, Honkin' Hondas. Apparently, and... Squee Potato's name has not shown up in months. Oh, really? <laughs> also, the Barbarian has uh, been subscribed for like 54 months or something. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's a long ass time. Thank you. Uh, Spirit Song, this is your first time here on the stream. Glad you could make it. Yeah, thanks for coming. Welcome in. We're playing Potionomics. I'm covering today. my nose because someone said that my nose is whistling. So I'm trying not to breathe into the mic. You don't don't worry about them. You whistle into the mic. If your nose whistle, they can hear a nose whistle. Uh, okay, we also got subs from Mac Timo, Dorkivore, Won't You Be My Neighbor, Ebby Poop, S Knightley, and that is it. I'm gonna show you guys a dead bug real fast because a lot of people didn't know what it was. And I love a dead bug. Well, I'm gonna try to get out of the way enough here. 
You do like a opposite leg, opposite arm. One goes up, the other goes down. Like that. That's a dead bug. Or you can do a weight. Like a, look at this. But that's not a dead bug no more. That's closer to like a jackknife. Much harder to do it that way. Yeah. It's just like a gentler way of working out your abs. Hello, Miss Aliyev. Gentle abs. Okay. Let's get back to it. I need to sell potions in order to live. Open shop. Sell the potions. It is like a gentler way of, than doing setups. All right, I'm gonna sell you on this shit, dude. Just you wait. What are you about to do to me? You're gonna reduce interest applied by 25%? Hit him hard. Well, this increases all interest gained by 25%, so you'll feel pretty stupid. You'll feel very conflicted, but overall neutral. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite <laughs> card. Sorry, Olive. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's All right, okay. so we hit him with the sympathy. We sympathy. We hit him with the pump up. We hit him with the enthusiasm. That's a big one right there. Oh, oh. you see that shit? Ah, oh. tie him. And we end turn. What do you mean it's not worth it? Did I not pump you up? Ooh, we got build rapport as an opener, which is great. Um, okay, we have five left, so we can build rapport. That's not even worth doing. Well, we'll definitely- That'll be two. Build rapport. And then we might just have to close it out. Yeah, we'll have to close it out. Pretty good, pretty good. I love the animations in this game. They did such a good job. They're amazing. All of the art is incredible. All right, Peppy Commoner. Get ready to get it. Close it out, close, close it, it out, close, the close deal. it out, close, close it deal. out, close it out. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I knew it's okay. Olive, I, I want to make that noise every time I use that card. He's just so. enthusiastic. It's okay. You don't have to flick your tail so aggressively. It's okay. Did she just fart? She just farted on the potion and was like, this potion has fart on it. <laughs> You're going to gain a shield? Well, I'm going to plant the seed. Does plant the seed stack? It doesn't matter. We're not going to get through three turns. We are going to keep your guard up. And then I think we're going to scheme and hope for a close the deal. We did not get a close the deal. So we will, we will simply close the deal the old fashioned way. Yeah. Thanks for the money. All right, passionate craftsman. Get ready to get your ass beat. More like passionate craftsman. We're definitely gonna plant the seed. Also nice. We're definitely gonna press the attack. We're definitely gonna press the attack again. And then we're definitely gonna end turn. Whenever people apologize for being late to the stream, I feel like a teacher. <laughs> Should we like start punishing people? Like, all right, but I'm taking five points off your next test. Oh, this is gonna be huge. I think the best we can do, so this is 50%, which would be eight on top of this, but this also does eight. So I can actually, so because of the, the patience, I can do pump up and then enthusiasm and then close it out. I can't do build rapport. Pump up, enthusiasm. Uh! Acceptable. Close it out. Nice. Money, money, money. Well, 
What's the test on? Effective desalination processes of water. What the hell? That's the test we're giving? Yeah. Do you know the answer? The answers? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to know the answers to give the test. I may have just uh, watched like a 45 minute video about why boiling salty water is not an effective method of desalinating water. Oh. That is a superb brew of a common fire tonic. Wow. Oh, I got a bad trade in there. Uh, well, it's just 5%. It's all right. Okay. All right. So I have this one at least. I'll probably be able to make better ones, hopefully. But I'll keep one of these. Yeah. Just in case I don't make better ones. Yeah. I think that is fair. Well, yeah, you can give mint some to go on her Yeah, I can give mint. Unless you want to make like less good ones and then sell the less good ones. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I make better ones, then I'll sell these. I'll at least keep one of these back in case I fail to make a better one. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to make a big mana potion. Big mana. And for big mana, we need yeah. green and yellow, which this has both of those things. Potions. You're red, you're green. Oh, and it gives you're a positive red and trait. You're green, you Okay, so the swamp octopus gives a negative thing. Okay, okay, okay. So we put in one of these. We put in Do I have enough red to equal out to this? Yeah. Yeah. I do. We do that. And then we do, oh, I don't need red, I need yellow. Do I have enough yellow? I certainly don't. No, doesn't seem right, like I'm, it. Let me take that back out. <laughs> Just scoop it. Can I have that back, please? All right, this is probably the best I can do then right now because I don't have any other yellow. yellow ingredients. If that's the case, maybe I should make something else. Maybe I should make health potions. Because we got red and we got green. This is a big green. And then this is a big red with a negative trait. And then we can do this. It's balanced. And then we can do this and this and this. Leon, the Magimans. And this. Look at this. My Magimans are through the freaking roof. Beautiful. And then we'll uh, we'll brew that up. That'll take a while. Guys, if you don't like my quiz. Uh, then make then me shut up. <laughs> a model of flood tunnels. A model of flood tunnels? Yeah. Or write all the lyrics to uh, The four, are they called the four long blondes? Four, four non-blondes? <laughs> four non-blondes. <laughs> the four long blondes. <laughs> <laughs> their they so their most famous song. Four long blondes. <laughs> so how do we know if Mint is back? Oh, Mint. If we click this, it looks like Mint is back. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up with you? Yeah, I know the monsters got the better of you. I didn't give you enough potions. 
But you did give me some rot fly cocoon. Ew. And some figment palm. <laughs> I've ruined chat. Thank you. And I got a little something for you I think you're gonna like. It is called an imp stool mushroom. How do I know what I've given? It's that one, right? Well, no, because you've definitely given her stuff. But I don't know what I've given. Do you like mushroom? No, you don't. You do not like mushroom. Is she like an herb? Herb girl? Because you, her name some is kind Mint. Of herb girl? What are you, some kind of herb girl? Maybe she likes some rosemary sage and thyme. All right, let's hit up Enchanted Forest again. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Did I get that right, though? It's ro... Why would our doorbell be ringing at this time? Literally. Julia dropped the headphones on the ground. Trying to see who's at the door. Oh my God, you're brave. Was, brave single day. <laughs> was it someone? I don't do know they you. need? Do they need us? They didn't respond. Should I go down? I heard a lot of clacking, so maybe someone opened the door. I guess if they dingle it again. Yeah. This is a problem. I don't have any mana potions, so. She'll only get through three of them, no matter what I do. But that's fine. Just go. It's cheap. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go and don't talk to me. <laughs> Bappy, where's my items? You don't have my items yet, Bappy? Oh, you don't want anything else? Okay. I'm spoiled enough as it is Bye. with your treat that I didn't like. Oh, please, I couldn't, I, I simply could not accept any more subpar gifts. Oh, I think the knees of their pants are little bird skulls. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there's a good tip I see in the chat here from Slam Packer. It said, Jacob, one thing I learned is to use the ingredients with bad traits to make potions for your adventurers oh makes a lot of sense what you got on the docket right now you don't have any of that new stuff yet but I do need to make some mana potions so you know what give me give me five of these give me five give me Give me five, give me five, 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 five. <laughs> give me five of these. And I will leave immediately. I will, I will have the country road take me home. All right, I guess I'm gonna do another round of selling. You have 3% stress. Is that something? That's very little stress. 3%? Yeah. Okay. I'm more stressed than that every day in real life. <laughs> if I had 3% stress, I would be living the dream. Yeah. Open shop. Oh, you frick. You owl frick. Damn. Maybe I would have hung out with someone then. All right, I guess we'll just end the day. Can't even do anything. You must have questions about your uncle. How he lived, how he died. Where he hid his valuables. I'm afraid you're out of luck there. This shop was all he owned. He put everything he had into it. And not just money, he put his whole heart into this place. If that's true. Then why, why did he go off to explore the island? That's what happened to him, right? He broke the cardinal rule of potion making. He won out delving for his own ingredients. 
He should have stuck to the counter in the cauldron and left the dangerous work to the professionals. To be fair, I'm pretty certain he'd do things differently if he could. You have to remember, Rafta was basically a ghost town when your uncle arrived here. There were fewer heroes around, which meant fewer resources, so even basic ingredients were costly. He had no choice but to go out and forage from time to time. His mistake was in how far he traveled. He wasn't content to just pluck magic mushrooms in the forest. No, he was too bold for that. Too ambitious. In fact, your uncle would not be happy with anything less than an expedition to Maven's Castle, the haunted crumbling citadel that was once home to the Witch Queen herself. See, that just sounds super dangerous to me. Oh, indeed. Everyone knows Maven's Castle is a dangerous place. It's located at the heart of an irradiated disaster zone full of twisted creatures. But the greater the danger, the greater the loot. So, Oswald was hoping to find some kind of edge out there. Uh, whatever. A way to make his potion stand out. That's right. It was a desperate decision made under great distress, but if you think about it, it was a rather daring plan. Your uncle, he blazed a trail into the poisoned heart of this perilous land. Bolstered by potions of his own making, he overcame a series of dangers, fighting, sneaking, and bribing his way to the cursed sanctuary of a tyrannical madwoman. Uh, at least we can assume that's what happened before he, uh, died. Could he still be out there somewhere? Maybe he's alive and waiting to be rescued. Nope, he's dead. Definitely dead. Super dead. I guess if Helene's soul binding is as foolproof as you say it is, she would know if he were alive. It's a shame. I was little when he moved here, so I never knew him. Not really. But he remembered every birthday. He bought me my first Easy Make Cauldron, actually. I always sort of felt like I was following in his footsteps. Now more than ever, hmm? I mean, here you are. You remind me of him, you know? Yeah, I'm sure the pall of doom hanging over my head makes for a striking resemblance. I meant it as a compliment. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. We sleeping. Our back is gonna be so messed up in the morning. Maybe someday we'll make money again. <laughs> on a given day. We did buy a new cauldron, I guess. I'm spending money, which means I'm making money. That's how the economy works. Yep. Now that the shop is up and running, you might think you know what to expect. But customers will find new ways to keep you on your toes. You'll probably have some of them ask to place a custom order soon. Oh, like when I would order two dozen donuts in advance. Or an ice cream cake, or both. Man, I miss having disposable income. Focus, would you? Because this could help with your cash flow concerns. Custom orders allow a customer to submit a request for a specific combination of potions. He said extra income and she was like, <laughs> I'm listening. But you have a choice as to whether or not you'll take on the job. Accepting the request gives you an opportunity to sell multiple potions at once, as well as giving you time to gather whatever ingredients you need for the brew. Sounds smart to me. I'll see what people come up with and go from there. Excellent. Now, if only I could stop thinking about donuts. You're an owl, bro. You can't eat donuts. Increase in craftsman customers. Enchanted forest has stronger monsters and better loot. Increase in customers. Increase value for basic potions. Bye. We're five days out from the competition. If you don't have a game plan yet, now's the time. I strongly recommend brews of at least common quality with three stars or better. Remember, upgrading your equipment and the store will be the key to success. All right. You piece of shit. We're gonna make incredible potions. Chick the cauldron. The likes of which you've never seen. I don't think it's done. It's done! G give me these. That's only two stars, I need three! Ah! <laughs> Those will sell for a lot though, damn. I guess because today is big, big money day. 
Thorn Oaken Shield says every time y'all say bottle. That way it immediately reminds me of my grandma's thick Queens accent. Man, my family is from Queens, my American side. Mm. There's a lot of asking. Let me ask you a question. There's a lot of that. Oh, for sure. I think I can make a pretty sick mana banana potion. Wow. Oh. With what I got going on right now. Because check this out. Positive buff, big yellow energy. Mm -hmm. Then this has no negative buffs with the right balance of green and yellow to balance the other ingredient out. Oh. Like this. Wow. Then this has 12 of each, which gets me to a 30 30. Then we can fill the rest in. We can put in another one of these and then put in. We can do. Okay, wait, what's the rest of this stuff give? A little bit of, little bit of green in my life. A little bit of yellow by my side. Yeah, so we can do this and this and this. And that is all we can do. But that only brings us one star. But I can't do anymore. It's the best I can do. Okay. What do you want me to do? I mean, I, guess, I think you did great. But... I guess what I could do. We could see if anyone returned with anything. I think I should sell these and then use that money to buy more of those ingredients okay. from Quinn. Yeah. I think that's what I should do. And then I'll come back, but I should be brewing something. I gotta be cooking something, right? Gotta be cooking something. Get out. Get out of there. Out of the bath. Maybe I'll just like make some trash. Make some like fire potions for what's her face for mint. Or like health potions, so just like some common ones or something. See, that's that's red and yellow. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to make some like normal ass. Just make some normal ass mana potions with these that I don't care about as much. How about yeah. that? I like that. Give that to mint. Give those, yeah, we'll use those for mint. Let's brew that. Should we see if um, anyone's back yet and then send them out? Well, I need money before mm -hmm. I travel out or got else it. I'm gonna waste the time slot. Got it, got it, got it. So got I'm gonna it, do one it. round of selling and then I'll go out. Okay. Open shop. Is Baptiste? No special treatment for me, I insist. I thought this potion stood out from the rest. That's um, one of my worst potions. <laughs> <laughs> What are you about to do? You're gonna you're gonna be stubborn, okay? Me when I try to pick out like a fancy adult cocktail and it's like <laughs> basically lemonade. Yeah. Oh, I think this one's very this, this one suits my refined palate. It's just like straight up Kool-Aid. <laughs> uh we'll build rapport. That's your own move using it against you. We're gonna plant the seed. We're gonna scheme. We're going to keep our guard up. We're going to enthusiasm. You just played the card. Ah! Thank you. And then we're gonna close it out. That's huge. That's huge. That is huge. Baptiste, you don't know the value of potions or money. No. How much could one apple cost? Hello, passionate craftsman. I would love it if we could scheme. And then I would love it if we could plant the seed. 
I would love it if we could sympathy. I'd love it if we could pump up and then press the attack. And then I might, oh, 20. 20s, 20 is a lot, but you only have one patience left. Yeah, then I'll just end. I think that's the, probably the best I can do. Yeah. 20. Close deal. Oh, Peppy Commoner again. Peppy Commoner. Build rapport. Plant the seed. And then we're going to end turn because the things I've done need a couple turns to come to fruition. So I think I should probably let them ride. It's pretty cheap. I don't feel like I need to plant the seed again. I will enthusiasm. And I will close it out. Cass. Cass says, do people in line not see that everyone gets char charged wildly different amounts? <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They somehow don't understand. No okay. one talks about it either. I'm freaking rich now, so let's go out. Let's hit the town. Uh, Boshan is still brewing, I believe. Still brewing. One. Okay, so the goal here is to get the ingredients to make the best possible mana potions. That's what I'm going to try to do. Mint. Hello. Yeah, I really didn't set you up for success, to be honest. <laughs> you really but, set but, me out there to die, huh? <laughs> thank you. Um, can I give you something for your troubles? What is she into that we already gave Quinn? Could give her a rot fly cocoon. <laughs> I think she likes bugs. Are you into bugs? Would you like like a raspberry or something? Whatever that is. Yeah, does she like that fruit in the top left? I think I'd given her one of these and she was like fine with it. Mm. She's into women. Give we the slide slime. ourselves. She on likes the table. slime? Okay. You like so you, do you like slime? Do you like slime? Oh, she loves slime. Oh, so nice. Yo, okay. She's a slime lover. She's into that whole like slime TikTok thing. Yeah. All right, we're going to send you out to Mushroom Mire. Don't worry about me. I'll okay. just die. So we need a poison cure to get past this point. So maybe I'll send you somewhere else. Bone waste. Because now, check this out. Fire tonic. Do we want to keep one fire tonic? Yeah, I'm going to keep one. Because okay. look how much it lowers. Whoa. It lowers them hugely. Right, I, I, I forgot I it goes any, across the board. Any fucking mana potions. Oh, I'm stupid. All right, well then it doesn't even matter. We should, she can only go three spaces no matter what. Go to the mushroom mire and go three spaces. Go get poisoned. Uh, four, five, four, so you need one of these. That should get you there. And then you'll just die here, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I really need an antidote to survive. And we just smile at her. Uh-huh. Totally. You're going to give me one, right? Baptiste? Right? <laughs> give me my, my things. Oh, baby. I have to say it. That flower looks like it's going... Ugh. The flower that you got from B Baptiste in the previous time. Oh, I, I wasn't looking at it. I'll have to uh, look. I feel like we've gotten all of these before. Have we not? Have we gotten this? Yes. Yeah, we got one of the shells and we gave it to Muktuk. Okay, so all of these. Have we given one of these to Quinn? Mm, I don't know. Go look. I'll be back. 
in a second. I said I'll be back in a second. Quinn. My friend. People are saying, no, you didn't. Y'all are so right, though. Okay, well, first things first. Okay, I'll be right back. A lot of people are discovering that 07 is a salute. It's like a little head with a saluting arm. Uh, give me two of these, please. Thank you. Oh, do you want a gift? All right, what, what does Bappy Teats like? Bappy teats. Bappy Flour. Teats. I don't really have a flower I can give. You know what's like a flower? This? An octopus. It opens up like a flower. Flesh? What about flesh? What about bug? Essence and flower? Do I have any essence? Isn't the, the thing in the middle an essence? This is a gem. Oh. All right, well, you're going to get one of these. You're getting a root. It's good enough. Nice enough. Okay, I got to go. <laughs> so many people are saying, so do, Scooby. Wait, let's let's check out Muck Tuck. See about... Cauldrons. See what the cauldron situation is. Can we upgrade... Oh, you can't upgrade equipped cauldrons. I have to unequip it. This is just the same stuff. Okay. So I'll have to unequip the cauldron when I'm not cooking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In order to upgrade it. Okay. All right, what is Muck Tuck like? And it has to be one of these five, these four things. Octopus. Fish and ore. Have I given this to Quinn? I'm too scared. I'll come back. <laughs> I'll come back. I'll be right back. I'm too scared. I'll be right back. Quinn, hello. Please take all of these objects. They just ate everything you just gave them. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to spend my money. I've got my money. I'll spend it up. All right, so I want to make a go some good-ass mana potions for the, the compy tish. So I need things with big yellow and big green. That's got big yellow. That's got big green and yellow. What are my biggest yellows and greens? That's pretty good for green. I feel like this combo was pretty sick. Mm -hmm. But I can't do... A full eight. I can only hold seven. Someone pointed out that on the top right, that book has your recipe piece. Well, I, I know what the recipe check. piece is. It's green and yellow. Yeah, you just need to double check. What do you think I am? We've been raided. Thank you. Hades on holiday. Raiders. Hold on. I'm, I'm cooking. Jacob's cooking, so I will thank you for reading. So I could do... Jacob's doing some mean math here. I could do two of these. And I could do two of these. And then I'll have... Three more slots that I will fill with these. And that's going to be huge. That's going to be huge for me. Huge. 
Okay, and now... I got- I still got some money. What else can I make? I could get some red greens for health potions. What's my best red greens? Horned jelly. Horned jelly. And, and man worm root, but that's got a red effect. I'm not gonna use you, you got a red effect. Tried to trick me. That's big green, but it's got a, a bad effect. And that's big red, but it's got a bad effect. I don't really have what I need to make good health potions right now. Someone in chat said that you only need to make two out of three best for the competition. Two out of three best. So I could make good fire tonic. I need, I need a better thing to make red. I know effect is fine for mint, but is it fine for... Sometimes you gotta eat the effects, honestly. Okay. I've already got mana potions cooking. Don't worry about that. They're cooking. All right, I'm just going to I'm just going to take the effects, I think. And we want This one has a positive and a negative effect. So I feel like that's okay. So I feel like we just do... Do I have anything that gives red and green? Maybe on the next page? Wow, 24. 24 red. 24 red, but I'm think I'm looking at... Because the problem is this gives 24 red, but I don't have anything that gives 24 green. Mm -hmm. This gives 27 green, which I feel like is going to be an issue. Mm-hmm in terms of my, my mathematics. These both give 18, which is great. So I could just do six of those, three and three. Maybe we'll try that. It's probably the best I can do right now. All right, and then we'll go. I hope this game is entertaining. I'm realizing as I get deeper into it, most of it is just me like doing mental math and, and muttering to myself. That's fine. But I'm actually really enjoying playing it. Yeah, people are liking it. All right, let's go home. Wait, have we given you a gift? What is Quinn like? People are saying they love it. I can't give you any of the things I just bought. What's Quinn into? Quinn likes slime? Why does everybody like slime so much? Why is it that the two people we like the most like slime? All right, well, you can have this sack of slime. I think that's Bugs and slime. Fine. Bugs like. and slime? That's a bug. I don't need all five of these. You can just have this. Oh, this is pretty cool. Trying to play it cool. Rank up. We'll take a rank up. Let's go ahead. If you really don't have anything better to do. Quinn, I am interested in romancing. Progressing the romance, at least. We can decide, I'm sure, later who we go with in the end. Yeah, I like Mint. I like Mint and I like Quinn a lot. Yeah. But I also like the big titty goth GF <laughs> who hates us. Sylvia, is that her name? No, no, Sylvia's us. Who's the other one? I don't remember. Whatever. I don't remember her name. All right. Roxanne, yeah. Roxanne. Uh, I was surprised you agreed to hang out in here of all places. Yeah, why is that? It's sort of romantic. It's sort of romantic. It's sort of romantic, the two of us walking along the shore. Yeah, it's either romantic or an opportunity for the perfect murder. Damn, why not? Why Why just one? Why not both? Maybe both. Whatever, pay attention. We're here on a mission. You're probably pretty strong, right? Uh, what? All that stirring's gotta be good for upper body strength. Okay, now I'm worried. Relax, it's not a big thing. 
You notice all the pirates over there with the pointy ears and the cute little noses? I'm supposed to meet with one. He's got a rare ingredient for me. At least he does if he knows what's good for him. Want me to rough him up? Want me to outfox him. But he said strong. Yeah, that's true. You want me to rough him up? Teach him a thing or two? Hey, I like the enthusiasm. Let's not escalate unless we have to, but you got the gist of the plan. You're the muscle, Sylvia. You're here in case things go wrong. So, just stand here and look tough? Tough and disturbed. Maybe you could twist the head off a teddy bear or something. Don't underestimate the shock factor. It pays to put some fear into him right off the bat. Shock factor! Nice. Raise interest by 10, apply shocked for two turns. If opener, raised by 17. But I don't want to make the customer shocked, do I? That seems bad. I guess this is good if we're planning to not move into the next turn. Like, it raises a lot of interest for pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. But then is bad if we continue to the next turn. Great right before close. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it doesn't seem as incredible as some of the other cards. You want unhinged? I could do unhinged. Yeah, I figured. Now get your game face on. If things go to plan, you won't have to crack any heads open tonight. But things so rarely go to plan. Sylvia watches as Quinn saunters up to a pirate in the distance. The pirate's tail flicks with agitation as they talk. The exchange grows heated. Sylvia tries to puff out her chest. But no one is watching her, and she feels somewhat ridiculous. Finally, Quinn and the pirate trade... Trade... Envelope? They trade envelopes. You, ever, you know when sometimes your brain is just, like, interpreting the sentence wrong? Heckvetica, thanks for the raid. Oh, thank you, Heckvetica, for the raid. Welcome in, we're playing Potionomics. We're, we're romancing a bunch of hotties and making potions. Yeah. If you can't get behind that, then... This maybe you, maybe you came you. to the wrong stream. I'm going to antagonize you <laughs> right when you get in here. Finally, Quinn and the pirate trade envelopes. Look alive, Sylvia. I think they're onto us. On us? What does that mean? They can't catch us both, and they'll never take me alive. That was a fun hangout, Quinn. Thanks. You, you got us almost killed. Yeah, almost. Okay, back home. So I feel like we need to upgrade our cauldron. Again? So soon? Well, I'd like to upgrade it as much as we can. I don't even know what it costs to upgrade it, you know? Because mm. I can't even look unless I right. don't have it equipped. Right. Which is frankly ridiculous. Can we brew? Are we done? Can we brew? Can we brew? Can we brew? Bottle. We can, brah. All right, these Bottle. will be good for mint. Now we can make our our honkin' Hondas of uh, mana potions. Yeah. Using my patented technique, which I'm gonna remember now what it was. It was one of these. One of these. Wait, should I do this or should I try to upgrade my pot? Because if I leave, I'm going to have to sacrifice another time slot. Yeah. But there's never going to be a time when I'm not brewing. I'm always brewing. Yeah. I live to brew. I mean, you could brew now, fin you know, sell the rest of your stuff. And pot then upgrade is worth it, but it requires special ingredients. Oh, it gives us more on the 140. Well, yeah, I'm going to make money. Probably don't have enough cash. Yeah, I'm going to make money in between. I say brew something now. Finish out the day with an open store. All right, maybe I, sw I swap the pot. I 
I have a potion that is for six ingredients. Cauldron. So we could swap that in and do the six ingredient one. And then we'll save the seven ingredient one for after I check the upgrade. Sure. Okay, so I was going to make the the flame potion using these these ones. Like yeah, this. Yeah, that's a three star, baby. Ooh, ooh. The balance of Magimans is too unstable. What? What? Oh, because it's red. It wants you to put oh, C it's in yellow. There. My color blindness strikes again. So what was I doing then for this? It's red and yellow. Did I buy the wrong things? I don't know, you were so in the math space. You got bug, that's yellow. Bug is yellow. I guess I could, I was making health potions. I could just make health potions, not fire potions. Then it works. Oh, sometimes the brain. Well, the color blindness, you know. The brain blindness. Makes it, makes it a little hard. There we go. That's a good one. Uh, let's kick that up. Yeah, we're gonna do the mana potion once we switch back to the seven slot cauldron because I had a seven slot brew for the mana potion. Okay, now we're going to sell some things. So we can sell, because right now we're making better health potions than this. Mm -hmm. So we can sell these for a lot of money. And why not? Why not? And then we'll open the shop. I'm ready. Save? Yeah, I guess I could save. Oh yeah, you could put one on display. But the display only increases the number of customers you get. And so far I've sold out every time I've opened shop. True. So I don't need any more customers. I guess once I... Um, don't sell out, then I'll put something on the display. Mm -hmm. All right, let's open the shop. All right, chill artisan. Oh, the pump up enthusiasm combo. Huge. First you pump them, then you dump them. Oh, oh. You didn't say it with the yellow, oh. with, with the with the card. Oh! <laughs> ah! What are you about to do to me? You're gonna decrease the price of the potion? I'll literally kill you. <laughs> this is the the best potion I've ever made. And you're shitting all over it. Not so till are you, artisan? You're gonna lose extra patience. Well, guess what? Doesn't matter because I'm going to scream at you and then close the deal. <laughs> <laughs> bye, 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 close oh! it! He's maxed. He's maxed! <laughs> yes! <laughs> First you what? Oh, he's back. Baptiste is here with coins to spend. I might go for this one if you can sell me on it. Oh, I can sell you on it. Oh, I got the pump and dump again. <laughs> Stop saying pump and dump. First you pump them, then you dump them. Kaboom! Then we scheme. 
Uh, then we scheme. Then we build rapport. Then we close the deal. Baptiste is like, you certainly sound like you know what you're talking about. He has no <laughs> thoughts in his head. He's going, mm-hmm. It's just wind in there. I'm just laughing at chat saying, <laughs> pump, and, pump and dump. Jacob the pump and dump master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, picky merchant. It's hat, picky merchant. I like the color. Let us press the attack. Let us build rapport. Let us keep our guard up. And then we'll keep it up again. And then we'll end turn. Oh my oh god, my it's the pump and dub! You're fucking dead, dude. You're fucking <laughs> eliminated. You're gonna get removed from this earth. First you pump them, then you dump them, baby. Let's go! Chad is so excited about the pump and dump. I'm excited about it too. People are calling it the Jacob special. <laughs> All right, now we close deal. Got him. The Georgia Pump and Dump. <laughs> the old Georgia Pump and Dump. Halfway there, dare I hope? You better hope. Because I'm going to win. Would it be weird to have ramen for breakfast? Don't they have noodles for breakfast in some places? Oh! oh my god. Here she is. There she is. Where else would I be? The way I've heard it, all over town. I have to admit, I'm impressed with what you've accomplished. Still on track to enter that competition, are you? I had my doubts, but you've proven me wrong. Well, thanks. That's big of you to admit. Oh, nonsense. It's obvious to anyone how hard you're working. The bags under your eyes tell the tale. I know you're busy, dear, but there's always time for a bit of self-care. I... What? That came out wrong. Forgive me. I only mean to say you look utterly haggard. She's winning me over. I know what you're doing, Roxanne, and it isn't gonna work. And if anything's haggard around here, it's the, your mean girl routine. No, it's working. Well, I certainly don't have to stand here and be insulted. I have work to do, and it just so happens that I'm in the business. Of misery? Of putting you out of business. Bars! She's dropping bars. Damn! She's so mean. I love her. We're about to have ads. We are, let's run the ads. Let me memorize these things. Mana potions have increased value. Bone wastes weaker monsters. Increased value for basic potions. Basic potions. Basic potions. Jacob loves a red flag. <laughs> I love it. In in fantasy. Yeah. In real life, it's not as great. Um, let's let's run the ads. Three minutes of ads starting right now. At any minute now. They running. Jacob sees a mess of a character uh come onto the screen and he's like there's my guy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 that one, yeah, that one, that one. I'm not watering Mr. Plant right now. I'm watering Mr. Plant. Sunday. Sunday. 
when we return from our trip. How's everybody doing? How's your Wednesday going? Or Thursday, depending on where you live. Hmm, that's true. Tell me about your lives. <laughs> Eating Pringles, nice. Delicious. Tummy hurts, not nice. Not nice. Cat in my lap, nice. Playing truck simulator, nice. Just got a raise, nice. Nice. Painting minis, nice. Cat sitting, nice. So bored, not nice. <laughs> Especially considering you're watching our yeah, stream. <laughs> I need. Lunch I need... break is nice. Gatorade. You want anything? No, I'm good. You're good. Where are my kitties? Ate a salad, nice, depending nice. on how much you like salads. I like salads. Ate curry, that's nice no matter what. Making quesadillas, very nice. Dog sitting, but it sucks. Thought it was gonna be nice, but it's not nice. Making some art, very nice. Kidney stones, absolutely not nice. Incredibly not nice. Got a job offer, nice. Power out, not nice. Brushing your teeth, nice. Had pho and passed your stats class, double nice. Went to the pool, very nice. Somebody said I'm practicing sax, but I thought it said practicing sex. <laughs> Either way, nice. <laughs> Boyfriend playing Final Fantasy XIV, nice. I was playing that earlier, I, I got back in. I have some nice news. Oh yeah, tell me. From my parents. So my dad, uh, my parents are going to move when they retire. Nice. And my dad's dream has always been to have a barn. And so he's building a barn. Nice. On, on the, at the new place. And they were trying to get the permit for the foundation and they just could not find the guy to give the permits to build the foundation <laughs> for the barn. Not nice. They couldn't find him for days. Very like, not nice. Town hall couldn't find him. My dad couldn't find him. The dudes like secretary couldn't find him for several days. Anyway, so they pulled the guy who just had open heart surgery to get the permit for my dad. So now my dad's getting to build his barn. Nice. Yeah. Nice in the end. We still don't know where the other man is. Not nice for him probably, but. Unless he's like on vacation and just forgot to tell anyone. The graveyard house your mom posts about on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Living in a graveyard. That's my, I mean, my mom is so happy to be living next to a graveyard, you don't, you don't even know. Living in a mausoleum. All right, I'm ready to get back to it. It's early morning. Let's check the brew. Let's bottle. Bottle. All right, oh! 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 Why is, oh! it, why is it dressed like that? It's got on little suspenders. <laughs> Greater health potion. Are you kidding me? We're gonna win the competition with this. Yep. That's that's an easy win, easy dub. Easy dub. Now we have to remember not to sell it. But it does uh, make you make your shoulder hurt or something. It gives you pain. <laughs> it's a health potion that puts you and makes you be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely massive for us. All right, I want to start another brew, but my my mana banana potions require seven slots, I think. I guess we could try. Mana. Mana. Cuz it's it's this and it's this and this. 
and this and this and this and this. Oh. Damn. Why can't I put another one in? Uh, would you be over on the Magimans? Oh, is it this? All right. We need the other pot. Yeah. For this. All right, maybe we just like brew some garbage. Just brew a little garbage. Brew some stuff for mint. Mint could probably use... A mana. We're also like low on health potions What's now too. What's a mana with you? We got these three mana potions. Probably just do some more health potions, I guess. Wrong pot. Yeah, it's not the wrong pot. I'm gonna try to upgrade the other pot. My God. God. It's like nobody is paying attention to me. Listen. All right, what if I do this? And this, and this, and this, and this. And we'll just make some health potions. No, I want to make health potions now. Shut up. I changed my mind. All right, we're just going to make these. You know, the little green dudes kind of look like my Goofy. <laughs> they do, like they're just like laying out, floating. Let um, him brew. Okay, let's travel. And then 10 gifted subs from Vampires Don't Do Dishes. Thank you so much. Oh. Why'd you say, oh? Am I not a vampire, or should I stop doing dishes? You're not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> You've never done anything that a vampire does. I count. You got me there. I don't love raw onion. Hello, Muck Tuck. And I've never seen my own reflection. Okay, so it doesn't boost the max ingredients, but it does boost the max magimens. Magimens. So I guess I'll go ahead and upgrade it since I'm here. I mean, you have the, the stuff. I you got have the, the bars. I got the juice for it. How many of these do I have? Probably enough. Here you go. 20. Boost me. All right, I don't have this horrendous bug. Oh, and that would give me more. Okay. Good to know. Uh, okay. Would you like something? I don't have any fish. Well, you liked fish and essence, was it? Fish and ore? Was it fish and ore? I think so. I give you this ore. Do you think he likes ore because that's what's on go. a boat? Yeah, he loves ore. I think so, Julia. Thank you. Yeah. Row a boat. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> gonna rank up. So far, he's giving me my favorite cards. I'd love another one. I am pleased to have you here. Have we not worked hard in recent days, Sylvia? Do we not wear perspiration upon our brows? We have. We do. Right you are, and it is therefore time for that most delightful of all breaks, an ice cream break. Damn, speaking my language. I am so on board with this. Muktuk has evidently made his selections in advance. When it's his turn, he requests two scoops, one mint chocolate chip, one buttered prawn. He had me in the first half. It is an odd combination, I know, but I find the complementary colors nearly as enjoyable as the treat itself. Interesting. I don't usually think about the colors. A snack is best when it engages all our senses, and I know of what I speak. I do not like to brag, but my people have elevated ice cream to an art form, not merely in taste, but in presentation. Each scoop is a mathematically perfect sphere. Anything less is tossed to the dogs. <laughs> not that I am complaining about Rafta's offerings, of course. Ice cream is a marvel, even if these scoops are slightly oblate. 
It is strange, though, the things that make me think suddenly of home. Tell me, Sylvia, are you ever homesick? Sure. sure. Sure, it's only natural when you've started over in a new place. Indeed, this is just one more thing we have in common, you and I. And yet, I may feel my connection to home a bit more keenly than most. For a walrus, wal, 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 <laughs> for a walrus carries with him the voices of his ancestors. What do you mean? I mean just what I say. Our honored ancestors never leave us, although their mortal forms expire. They live on within us always. They guide us to our great works. They speak to us, and in doing so, offer an inexhaustible wellspring of inspiration. Wow, that must come in handy. It is the ultimate purpose of my pilgrimage. I must live and breathe my craft so that I reach a heightened spiritual state in which my ancestors may guide me in the creation of a singular work of such majesty it leaves the world changed forevermore. It is for this reason that I work so hard and yet always am keeping one ear to my muscles. Your muscles? Indeed, for that is where the ancestors reside. They give guidance not just through words, but through augmenting my natural strength each and every day. Your ancestor must have been very impressive. Yep. Your ancestor must have been very impressive. I mean, look at those muscles. Nay, I bid you look at them. Look and dare not blink. And thus, I hope that you can understand. My pursuit of superior artistry, although fervent, is not a matter of ego or avarice. It is, for me, a spiritual endeavor. I put a piece of myself in my every creation. How am I supposed to look away and read the lines? I believe in you. It's less spiritual for me, but I definitely put my heart into my work. Then let your customers know. Let them understand that you stand by your craftsmanship, and that you can speak to the individual qualities of each and every potion you create. Craftsmanship. Raises interest and increases price? Dang! For one? For one? For one? Mark Tuck got the best cards in the game. Yeah, he does. I could talk about potion crafts with ship all day. But I'm also happy to admire the artistry of this ice cream. Truly, it is well done. And I cannot help but think the taste is further elevated by the quality of your company. Mark Tuck's very good. Yeah. He's always got good shit to say about art. Yeah. And making things. Yeah. Love it. All right, Mint. Mint. I'm coming for your ass. It's okay, Muck Tuck. I'll be back. Yeah, I know, man. I, did, <laughs> I didn't give you any mana potions. <laughs> Mint's like, I, you know, just saying. Um... I, I really want to. Is this slime? No. It's a pearl. Is this slime? What else does mint like other than slime? Slime and what? Slime and what? Bones. Well. That's a bone. I'll give you this. Well, thanks so much. Another rank up! Rank up! How about your place? Let's go. I swear, I stepped in every puddle on the way over here. And half the chewing gum. That's something they don't tell you about city living. People just drop their gum wherever they want. Oh, but don't listen to me, Sylvia. I'm just in a mood today. No harm done. You want to talk about it? I'd rather do something. That's why I asked to come over. I have another bone to give to Quinn. So don't worry about that. It's the same one. There were two of them. Oh, I've got a bone. <laughs> I got a bone to give to Quinn. Don't worry about that. Is the fire under your cauldron good and hot? Sure. You want to brew some potions? I was thinking more along the lines of comfort food. Let's bake. While Sylvia gets the fire going, Mint dusts the countertop with flour. There are people in this town who have no cookies, Sylvia. 
Someone in chat said that I gave the bone away to Mint and I didn't give it to Quinn to buy later, but I had two bones. Okay? <laughs> and that is an injustice I cannot allow to continue. Mint plops a mass of cookie dough onto the counter and begins flattening it with her hammer. Sylvia almost asks whether that's sanitary, but she decides she doesn't really want to know the answer. Once the cookies are baking, Mint exhales in relief. You seem to be working out some aggression on that dough. A little bit, yeah. The thing is, and I hate to admit this, after working so hard to get here... But I'm struggling to find my place in the guild. What if I never fit in? I worry about fitting in too. I worry about fitting in too. We're both starting over in Rafta, and starting over is hard. I knew you'd understand. And it helps a lot, knowing that we're in this together. I'm not used to second-guessing myself. But <clears throat> I'm also not used to being surrounded by actual, good to- honest-to-goodness heroes. Some of whom are legends, doing the best work of their careers. And we're all competing for the same quest, the same loot. Talk about intimidating. I've wanted to join the guild since I was a little kid, but nothing in my childhood prepared me for this. <laughs> Let's stay on topic, Mint, okay? Whoa, whoa, can you, whoa. Focus can you up focus here. up? We're making cookies. Tell me more. I want to hear what sort of adventures you had as a kid. That's the thing, though. My hometown was way too quiet for adventures of any kind. We didn't even have a local chapter of the guild. The nearest heroes were leagues away. I read everything about them I could get my hands on, from dusty library tomes to trashy gossip magazines. I hounded every bard in town to sing the ballads until I've memorized their exploits. The more I knew, the more it was to... The more What'd I knew... Know? What? The, what did you know? The more you knew? Uh, the what more was it? I... I sleep. <laughs> the more I knew, the easier it was to daydream of, that I was one of them. So you were the kind of kid who had her head in the clouds. Literally. I was always looking out for dragons. But the whole area was monster free. No matter how hard I looked, I never found gremlins in the cookie jars or slime in the shrubs. What about the ice machine? <laughs> I couldn't even find any side quests. The close- Ah, kitty! <laughs> <laughs> she surprised me. Miss Alive! Miss Alive! Miss Alive! Come here! Miss Alive! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Take a look! Take a look! Yeah! Look at this cat! You ready, Miss Alive? You know what time it is! <laughs> she loves it! She loves it so much! The closest I got was the time old man Harwell's walking stick broke. Harwell. Harwell. Why are you trying to roll? You can't roll there. You can't roll there. I had to track down some tape, and that's what passed for excitement back home. So, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit out of my depth here. Is it because I keep sending you places without potions and maybe you get your ass beat by monsters? I keep getting poisoned. And, <laughs> and burned. And burned. But I've come up with a plan. I think it's a good one. Why are you rolling? You showing your little belly? Oh, cute and clever. Ooh, cute and clever? You're the whole package. No, I'm just a tank. And tanks face problems head on. So let's hear this plan. Like all the best plans, it's simple. Every hero has their tools of the trade, and every famous hero I read about as a kid had a famous weapon. Wielding a one-of-a-kind legendary weapon is a surefire way of proving I deserve to be here. Let's get you a hammer. Let's get you a hammer. Let's get you a hammer, something epic. That is certainly my weapon of choice, but I may have to take whatever I can find. There aren't enough legendary weapons to go around. Everyone that's accounted 
before has been claimed. However, plenty of weapons have gone missing over the years. Some of them right here on the island. They're out there waiting to be rediscovered. I just gotta track one down. A great labor to win my place amongst the legends. Speaking of great labor, I should get back to work soon. But I have to say, I like this plan. Me too. I'm confident I got the skills to search for legendary loot and battle besties. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever battle your besties? <laughs> Do you ever get legendary loot and battle your besties? <laughs> Literally every time I talk to her. <laughs> it's like a fight. It's like a party match. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I was saying, it's not besties. It's not besties. It's not besties. So true, bestie. So true, bestie. <laughs> you say as you drive a knife <laughs> into their stomach. <laughs> I'm confident I got the skills to search for legendary loot and battle beasties at the same time. Oh, I can't stand it. I know you planned it. Like Ollie, the beastie you boys? You got rid of your neck. What happened to your neck? Fight off enough slimes and you learn to let muscle memory guide you. Same for haggling with customers, probably. Zero. Zero cost. That's a free card. That's a free card. Why did I read Muscle Mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Battle best. Besties and battle, Muscle Mommies. Besties and Muscle Mommies. Let's fucking go. <laughs> you know, we were talking about um, uh, like the stupid shit they put in your Jamba Juice when you get like the protein, whatever. It's like the muscle. Yeah, like the the power <laughs> shot or whatever. Yeah, this is definitely. It would be like Muscle Mommy and, and battle, battle Bestie. Bestie. Yeah. You have to read this. No. You have to read this. Goodness, I live. You have to read this. I'm definitely picking up. Oh. I'm definitely picking up some good moves. You and me both. Let's show everybody what we got. Starting with these cookies. They smell ready to me. Muscle mommy. Muscle mommy. Muscle mommy. All right. You got to go out. Me? Yeah, Is it because I'm you, you loving need, on need to leave. too much. All right, let's try to get. I don't have the the poison potion. Um, bone wastes. Earlier, I noticed something cute. You and I were talking, and Olive was dead asleep in the same room as she does. And uh, then I started using the Olive voice with her. And I noticed her little tail like raised up a little bit in her sleep and her little ears like went like, hmm? Me? <laughs> oh, that's cute. But she was completely asleep. Why are you hitting your tail? Can I hold your paw? Thank you. Jacob, do you see her face? Bam. Do you see this? Yeah, she's looking cute. Sorry, I'm trying to think. I can't make it to the end. But we can get we can get through through five, which is pretty good. Yeah. It's gonna have to be good enough. Test it. Ooh, treasure. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have mana potions as good enough. Uh, oh, bone wastes are bad right now. That's smart. That's so smart. We'll go to Enchanted Forest. So true, bestie. I can give away two of the good potions. I just have to have one that I keep. All right, so this is easy. A five spot, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 health. It's like the easiest thing that's ever happened. Test. That should be a completione. Good work. Easy I'm gonna dominate out there. We're gonna send you. Baptiste. 
Where's my spoils? Wow. Thank you, thank you. What we got? Whoa. Okay, I've gotten horned jelly, but I've not gotten this. So I'd like one of those, please. And you I'd know, like one of these, please. Next time we do a convention, I'm gonna stand at the table like this. <laughs> Welcome, would you like some wares? Now when people uh, tell them how far they've traveled, and I'm just standing like this, feeling like an asshole. Yeah. Thank you for traveling all the way from Dallas, Texas. And then you like gems? Flowers and something else? Flowers and gems? Flowers and gems? Flowers and gems, flowers and gems. I'm a little boy who likes flowers and gems. It is gems. Flowers essence. and essence. Essence. I don't think I have any essence. And I said, what about essence of Tiffany's? Essence of Tiffany's. <laughs> Here you go, just take one of these for now. Rank up. Oh my God, my whole day has been devoted to ranking up. All right, come on, let's do it. Certainly. Forgive the sheen of dampness upon my brow, Sylvia. I've been applying more than a little elbow grease around the guild hall today. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, it isn't anything too arduous. At the moment, I'm just giving the hero's achievements an overdue polish. No pressure, but you can help out if you like. Baptiste shows Sylvia an array of trophies plated in gold, silver, bronze, and platinum. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, that felt like a bad one. Ugh. It sounded like a bad one. One of those bad burps that hurts your chest? Yeah. Ugh. She takes a rag and works her way down the line, figuring she'll meet Baptiste at the midway point. Anon Snail, thank you for the gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. As she polishes, she reads the various engravings. Slime Buster, kill five slimes. Slime Slayer, kill 50 slimes. Slime Bane, kill 500 slimes. That one must take ages to earn. It's a useful motivational tool. Some of these heroes are real trophy chasers. Sylvia notices that Baptiste has polished only a single trophy in the time she's polished three. <laughs> Not that he's slacking, his one trophy gleams brighter than any of Sylvia's. It's probably shinier than the day it was made. Baptiste, it seems, is a perfectionist. If so, he has his work cut out for him here. Me putting the screen protector on Jacob's phone. Yeah, I got a, I got a new phone. I got the new iPhone 14 Plus Pro, Pro Plus. Professional plus phone. And Julia applied my screen protector because I'm really bad at it and I fuck it up every time. But Julia did a perfect job. I am neurotic about fiddly tasks. I love it. Yeah. It's my zen zone. I'm too impatient and I just get shit stuck under the screen every single time. Thank you for your assistance today, Sylvia. Although I can't help but feel this task is only the smallest drop in the bucket. Can I ask you, if you don't mind, to rate our cleanliness? Be brutally honest now, what do you think of the state of the guild hall? I... Could eat off these floors. Could be better, could be worse. Let's, let's give him a could be better, could be worse. Because I'm not really interested in dating this man. Could be better, could be worse. A guild hall is never going to be pristine. I appreciate the candor, but I would like to set the bar a bit higher. It's this place. It just seems to attract dirt no matter how much I clean. But I've got bad news for dirt. I don't back down from a challenge. If I wanted things, say... Nope. If I wanted things easy, I wouldn't have petitioned for this job. Tell me more. Why did you want this job anyway? You must have had a lot of options. Fewer options than you might expect, for while it's true I'm the son of a duke, I am, in fact, the third son of a duke. You son of a duke! <laughs> My father liked to call us the heir, the spare, and the stand over there. 
My brothers had ready-made roles waiting for them with the Heroes Guild's main office. Prestigious positions, but cushy to the point of being almost purely ceremonial. My choices were to be the third in command there, to be comfortable but utterly superfluous, or to come here where the guild still faces legitimate and significant challenges. What sort of challenges? I hadn't even... Did I cut the line off? Fuck you. That's the official line, but this island is all but overrun with strange creatures, many of which don't appear in any bestiary. So we have our work cut out for us, and it's dangerous work. My recruitment drive has attracted some well-known old-timers and a few promising up-and-comers, but we're losing people faster than we're gaining them. I didn't realize the mortality rate was so high. Oh, you misunderstand me. I'm not talking about anything so dire as that. I mean, certainly some of our recruits have been eaten or melted, but it's quite a small percentage. The real issue is retention. It's been difficult to attract good talent and near impossible to hold on to it. But I remain undeterred. I'll fill our ranks with the best and the brightest. I'll achieve and surpass the standards set by generations of heroic endeavor. And blast it, I will get that stain out of the table, runner. You just watch me. I kind of like Baptiste. I gotta be real. Yeah, He's growing on me. I'm, I'm willing to flirt now. You've earned flirting, Baptiste. I like a man with conviction. I can see you're very passionate. And I'm more than willing to share my passions with others. People think they know what to expect from someone of my demeanor. That only makes it easier to pull the rug out. Maybe you could try a bit of subversion in your own negotiations. Ooh, subvert. God, that art's really good. Raise interest by four, remove a random customer buff. Interesting. Flipping the script? Sounds fun. It can be. So get out there and put the screws to your customers. Unless you're in the mood for a bit more scrubbing first. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Let's get in the tub. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. I gotta go see Quindlin. Quindlin Christie. Until we meet again. Kaz said we can't fix him, but we can watch him fix himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's powerful. Here you go, Quindlin. Add this to your store. Just remember, you can't fix a person who's unwilling to be fixed. Also, you can't fix people in general. They gotta do it. I mean, I can. Oh, okay. But you can't. Oh, okay. You like slime. Here you go. I have a slime. All right, Sylvia, cheers. All right. Let's focus up. 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 All right, you can do the math. I'll vamp with chat so that you don't feel the <clears throat> pressure to be entertaining. So we need, I have to talk through it though a little bit. And then I will let you vamp. We need... Vamp the stampede. We got the stuff for mana potions, I think. We ordered that stuff already. To yeah. make the good mana potion with the glass cauldron. So I think we need the red and yellow for the fire tonic. So what gives good red and yellow? Sack of Hive Slime gives great yellow. And then... We need good red. River uh, calamari, pretty good. Is, isn't the octopus like 24 or whatever? Octopus is 24, so that is definitely an option. That's 12 with a positive effect. But, but it's, it's more expensive, expensive than usual. today. And this is 18. I'd love it if I had some things that just like matched up completely. Okay, this is 12. And this is 12. These are the ones I should get. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Maybe I'll just buy something else <laughs> for now. Green cube gives you 18 red, I think, says chat. This cube does not. No. Three, three, and three. Okay. I don't want to buy this shit that's so expensive. Yeah. This gives 18 red, but it's expensive today. Yeah. Okay. 
<clears throat> I think what we're gonna do is just make. Apparently, you can filter the ingredients. We're gonna make. Them. Oh, click A. To look at the A. Oh. Oh. That's incredible. Whoa. So this way I can look at what gives me. Queer Kid Sid is doing math for you in the chat if you want. 18 times four equals 24 times three if you want seven total. Oh, I see. So you're saying if I get, if we're going for red and yellow, If I get three octopus, <laughs> <laughs> octobussy, and then I get, I get this, four of these. This is what you're telling me. I think that makes sense. appreciate people trying to type out octobus <laughs> okay so I get three of these that's 24 times three give you one of these and then I get four of these I should just buy more while I'm here. <laughs> but Jacob's thinking about something. There's no. <laughs> there's no. I'm thinking. There's nothing going on in this sentence. I'm cooking. <laughs> he can't retain anything. Else. Why won't you let me cook? Why won't you let me cook? <laughs> you know what? Just give me. Just give me all this. <laughs> and then, give me all of this. <sighs> You gotta spend money to make money. Listen, I'm letting him cook. I was just throwing in a joke. <laughs> it, was, it was a good joke, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to believe that it was a good joke. That's very supportive of you. Don't worry, most of chat missed my joke too. <laughs> okay. Save. Probably. Let's hit the brew. Hey guys, how's vacation going? I've yet to take a day off. Julia is... Julia. Yeah. Ball. Ball. Just some normal ass potions. We can sell those. Okay. So now, one, two, three... One, two, three, four. This is the wrong pot. This is the wrong pot. Wait, wait. Everybody wait. Get, get this out. Take it out of the pot. Put in the right pot. Guys, I was trying to take a day off. This time it ain't my fault. There was some shit that, that happened that Julia had to take care of. But Julia's gonna get some days off because I'm going to lock her in a room. I was <laughs> in my room, we sleep in separate rooms. I'm just gonna lock you in a room. Oh, okay. With, with no computer and no phone. <laughs> Wow, sounds relaxing. And you will relax mandatorily. Okay, just... this is gonna be the freaking juice right here. This is gonna be incredible juice. Sorry, go ahead, Julia. I was just thinking about the juice. That's <laughs> fine. Um, 
It, it's just that I'm like the the business end of Drawfee. So when emails come in, I have to respond to them. And also I do the accounting. So I have to do that. And those two things never stop. So I was working Saturday. We were out Sunday. And then I worked the, the rest of the week. I should sell one of these. Do you need three for the thing or just one? I just need one. I should sell two of these. It's worth a lot of money. Then we just save the one. Am I right, gamers? Look at this. Look at these fat stacks. Someone said that you can put like your <clears throat> fancy potion on the display so that you don't sell it. Oh. That's a good idea, actually. Look at you. Why is that one 162 as opposed to the 175s? Oh. Is it just getting. Oh, because this cause shelf the... increases the price. Excuse me. Excuse you indeed. I apologize. Just don't forget to take it back. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to put it on the shelf. I'm not going to put it on the shelf. Okay. I'm too scared. Yeah, that's fair. We're just going to do this. And we're going to open shop to end the day. Yeah. Oh, wait, my deck. We got new cards from you. Oh, wait, who gave us the free one? It was Mint. Mint. The, the Muscle Mommy card. Yeah. Free for interest increase. Um, okay, what does this do? That's the scream. You love the scream. That one's great. That one's good. I think we, we need to get rid of... Plant the seed? To, plant the seed you don't really love is not seed. great, I don't think, for me. I think get rid of it. Because I like to go hot and heavy with the... With the pump with the scream With the scream, with the pump and dump. With the pump and dump and I'd scream. I'd rather pump and dump than plant the seed. <laughs> Personally, but that's just my. <laughs> that's just me. That's awful. Why do we stream? Why does everyone <laughs> watch us? It's really good. <laughs> Sometimes my grandparents watch this. <laughs> I tell them not to, and yet. All right, I don't care about subvert. I think this is good. All right, open shop. Everything is as it should be. Okay, passionate commoner. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Press the attack. Scheme. You know I'm searching for that pump and Ooh, dump. That's Double just free. muscle mommies? That's just free. Muscle mommy, muscle mommy. Oh! We can afford to do another turn. <laughs> we, I guess we'll build rapport. And well, then, um, yeah, close then the you deal. have to close it out. What thank a you. Outcome. Thank you. I hope you're ready to spend money, my friend, because I got a potion with suspenders on it for you. Build report. Scheme. Uh, muscle mommy. Pump up. Pump up the jam. Guard up. up. That would take you to a, a four heart. It's probably our best outcome, huh? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to. You have four. I think more, the only better but... out. No, we we can't get a better outcome than this. Ooh, the money roll in. 
Maktak, you taught me how to pump and dump. <laughs> God. Well met, Sylvia. Good craftsmanship on display in this one, I think. There's the pump, but I don't have the dump. I have muscle mommy. He would be disappointed. Except he, I think he would appreciate a muscle mommy. I'm do this and this and this. Hit me with a 1% stress. All right. You build rapport. You pump. You build rapport. You close it out. Nice. Easy. Easiest game ever made. And the money's flowing. Mm, 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 mm. We're in the oh, green. Oh shit, it's time to stop the stream. Yeah, that's all right. We made a lot of money that day. Yeah, we did. I spent a lot of money today too, though. Yeah, that's all right. But it's okay, because like I said, money's not for anything other than buying ingredients. Money is meaningless three days before competition. Well, we're gonna have two really good potions, at least. I think we'll be able to get the good mana potion too. Yeah. In time. That dirty sneak. Who are we talking about? Roxanne. She keeps throwing curveballs at me. Perhaps. Perhaps. Although whether or not wicked intentions are afoot, the local economy is turbulent. If we have any hope of surviving, we must be nimble, versatile, unfailingly vigilant. It'd be easier if I had a room for more cauldrons. Imagine if I could brew more than one type of potion at a time. I would love to imagine that. Of course, if I were making more potions, I'd want more shelving space. You're right. Carpentry could be a worthwhile investment, so long as you don't blow through your meager profits. Gotta spend it to make it. That's what I'm always saying. Only, where do I spend it? Do you know any carpenters? I've heard of one, a witch of great skill who lives at the very edge of the forest. Saffron is her name. Are we gonna have a witch that lives in the woods who does carpentry? Hello, is it me? I think it's new character time. We're is gonna it me? meet Julia. All right, I'll fly out there and introduce myself. You know, in all my ample free time. And yet you still find time to complain to me. Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Is it? Roxanne? Roxanne! Decreased value for mana potions. She's mean girling us. All right, the bone waste ingredients are still, we got one more day of them being too expensive. You don't have to mean girl the potions. Okay, we're gonna save. And that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching, everyone. This game is uh, is really fun. I plan to keep on playing it. Yeah. So we'll be back with this next week. We're not streaming on Sunday, as a yeah. reminder. So don't look for us then. <laughs> um, but other than that, there is no other than that. There's no Drawfee on Monday. There's no Drawfee on Monday. The there's break no, continues. There's no episodes uh, this week or next week. Draw class. Draw class. I'm doing a draw class where you can ask me any sort of career questions, like Photoshop tips, expense tips, businessy tips, time management things. If there's something you want me to cover, please tweet it at me. I will add it to my list. It's happening. The last Friday of this month at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And next Friday will be the Patreon bonus stream. We'll be coming back for the Patreon bonus stream yes. next Friday. So that, that'll be the first Drawfee stream we do. If you're a patron at that tier, that'll be what we're doing. Um, that's it. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. And appreciate you. And Rebecca Roney, thank you for subscribing. I just saw that. And that's it. That's it. Bye. Bye.